Hello everyone. Today I am here with a poem. Of course, it hurts by Karin Boys. Karin Boys is a lesbian Swedish poet, and she is widely acclaimed as a poet in Sweden. But internationally, she is known for her dystopian science fiction novel Kalauki. The poem, of course, it hurts, begins with two questions. Of course, it hurts when buds burst. Otherwise, why would spring visit it? Why would all our fervent longings, longing, be bound in the frozen bitter haze? These two questions says that all the joy or happiness in our life had a painful path. The bud was the casing all winter. What is the new? What is this new thing which consumes and burst? Of course, it hurts when buds burst. Pain for that which grows and for that which envelops. Through these lines, the poet expresses the difficulties of changes in daily life. She expresses the anxiety and abrupt changes in adolescence. She also reminds us that on the threshold of self-transformation, both exhilaration and terror coexist. Whether as a terrifying exhilaration or an exhilarating terror, the poem concerns about personal identity and a sense of self. Her sexual identity, which grows in her, gives her pain, and when he tries to conceal it or hide it, it also painful for her. Of course, it is hard when drops fall. Trembling with fear, they hang heavy. Camber on the branch, swell and slide. The weight pulls them down. How they cling! Hard to be uncertain, afraid and evaded. Hard to feel the deep pulling and calling. Yet sit there and just give up. Hard to want to stay and to want to fall. Here the poet compares herself to a heavy drop, which hang on the branch of a tree. trembling with fear the weight pulls them down means the society pressurizes her to be in the accepted norms of society but she didn't want to like a droplet clinging on the branch she also feels uncertain about her sexual identity it is hard for her to stay in her two a true identity but it is also painful for her to fall in the social norms then at the point of agony when all is beyond help the trees buds burst as if in jubilation then when fear no longer exists the branch drops tumble in a shimmer forgetting that they were afraid of the new forgetting that they were fearful of the journey feeling for a second their greatest security resting in the trust that created the world poets fearful journey towards their identity ends with the realization of true self there she feels agony and there is no one to help her but at that point of agony no fear exists in her she feels comfort and greatest security forgetting that she was afraid of about afraid of the new uh, society she ac- accepted her true self she decided to rest on the trust of the tree which is her true identity and it creates her world here poet frankly captures that our development is attended by a certain pain and an uncertain joy but she maintains optimism as with the spring there is a natural progression of things that direct us towards fruition this is where our trust should reside the bud will break and then it will bloom through this breaking we recreate ourselves as we recreate the world the pain is not belittled it simply acquires a purpose through it we discover our vitality thank you